you mentioned earlier that you use the uh, tile setting um, often when you're looking for failures behind a tile and you're um, so that's scanning the tile and then going back to the backer, the cementious board behind the tile, looking at the adhesive. And so going about an inch deep. Yeah. Yeah. You're trying to, you're trying to, you use, you mix it with shallow depth to the product depth. Uh, and, and, you know, the restoration people, people that go in after there's been a flood, a plumbing leak, uh, they find the ME5, actually to be their favorite tool. You can set it on one of the deeper depths, uh, the drywall depth, for example, and, and remembering that you're not, you're not gonna read the air behind the drywall, right? The, the wall board. But if they take that and they arrive at a dry standard at maybe uh, face height, and they move down that wall board, and they find that the bottom one foot of it pegs the meter or jumps quite high on the meter, that's proof positive that they've had a flood. Now, furthermore, uh, these are non-invasive, because they're invasive tests that people do all the time on that. But, but where, right. do you, where do you test for that? Where do you do an invasive test? Well, you do an invasive test by using this particular meter and finding the difference in wet and dry. Why are you gonna go banging holes in, in a wall board if it's not wet behind it, right? 